Let's learn how to use the Quick Knit Headband Kit from Creativity for Kids. In this video, I'll show you how to use this kit to create a headband or ear warmer that you can customize with a bow, pom-poms, buttons, or a twist. This kit includes everything you'll need. Inside you'll find the rectangle loom, yarn, a loom hook, plastic needle, needle threader, buttons, instructions with helpful tips, an embroidered patch, and gift tags. You should have enough yarn in each ball to make at least two headbands or one ear warmer. Let's get started by setting up your loom. Tie your yarn to the anchor peg that's right here on the side. There's gonna be a tail that I'm going to weave in later. To set up my work, I'm gonna wrap the yarn in a figure eight around the pegs. I'm going counterclockwise around the bottom pegs and clockwise around the top pegs. To make the headband, you'll wrap around four pegs. I'm gonna be making the ear warmer, so I'll be working over eight pegs, which means it'll be wider. Get creative and use as few or as many pegs as you'd like. Now that I have one loop on each peg, I'm gonna make a second loop on each but I'm gonna skip this first peg up here at the top left. I'm gonna wrap the pegs in the opposite direction. So I'm wrapping the bottom pegs clockwise and the top pegs counterclockwise. Once you get to the end, there'll be two loops on each peg, except for that top peg on the left. And then I'm gonna wrap my yarn around the anchor peg again while I work the loops with my hook. Now I'm gonna use my loom hook to pull the bottom loop up over the top loop and off of the peg. There's a groove in the peg that you can use as a guide for your hook. I started at the last peg that I wrapped and now I'm repeating that all the way to the end, lifting that bottom loop up and over. Once I've done that for all of the loops on this side of the loom, I'm gonna turn the loom around and then I'm gonna repeat it on the other side. And that's it. I'm gonna repeat by wrapping the pegs again. I'm skipping that first peg and I'm putting a second loop on each of the other pegs. I'm gonna wrap my yarn around the end here to hold it in place. And then again with my hook, I'm lifting the bottom loop up and over and off of the pegs. And that's all you need to know. You're gonna wrap and then use your hook for each row. Pull your work down through the center of the loom after each row. I'm gonna work this headband until I have the length that I want. There's a convenient ruler at the bottom of the instructions, and there's also a chart on the first page that will help you choose how long to make your headband. Once you've reached your desired length, cut the working yarn about 12 inches from the end of your work. And now this is how you cast off. Start by moving the loops from the top pegs onto the bottom pegs. You'll have two loops on each peg. Like before, you're gonna be moving the bottom loops up and off of the peg. Now there's just one loop on each peg. Starting at the opposite end of the yarn tail, put the second loop from the end onto the first peg, then bring the bottom loop up and over and off the peg. Now I'll put the loop that's left back onto the second peg 
and I'll repeat putting the next loop onto that peg and then putting the bottom loop up and over the peg. Just repeat like that until there's only one loop left. Then you can take the last loop off and put the tail through it and pull it tight. To finish, let's just weave in this tail. I'm gonna use this needle threader and I'll put the tail through the loop of the threader and then the end of the threader goes through the eye of the darning needle. And then just weave this end in and out. And then you can just cut it close to your project. So there are a few ways you can finish off your headband or ear warmer. Let's do the button headband. I've got two buttons here and I'm going to be sewing them onto the looser end of my headband, which is from the beginning of the project. The cast off edge is tighter. With 12 inches of yarn, sew up through the holes in the buttons, and then back to the underside. And then just knot your yarn on the inside of your headband and cut it close. You don't need to worry about making buttonholes, just push the buttons through the weave on the other side to close your headband. You can also embellish your headband with pom-poms. To make a pom-pom, you'll need a piece of cardboard that's about one and a half by three inches. Wrap the yarn around the long ends of the cardboard about 35 times. With a 12 inch length of yarn, tie the middle of the wraps on one side of the cardboard. Make sure you tie it pretty tight to keep the pom-pom together. On the other side, cut through the wraps. Now I'm gonna fluff the pom-pom, and to make it extra fluffy, I'm untwisting the yarns. I'm going to leave the long tails that I used to tie the pom-pom. I'm not gonna untwist them or trim them because I'm gonna use them later to attach my pom-pom to the headband. Once I've untwisted the pom-pom, I'll fluff it up and trim it to the size and shape that I like. Then just sew it onto your headband. I love how this looks. Let's work the twist headband. For this one, I've made the wide headband over eight pegs and I've tied a 12 inch piece of yarn to one corner. Fold the two ends of the headband in half and then hold them together like two interlocking C's. Use your darning needle to whip stitch all four layers together all the way across. And then just secure it with a knot and cut the tail. Then all you have to do is turn your headband inside out and you'll see the twist. And finally, I'll show you how to make the bow headband. This is the thinner headband worked over four pegs. I have 12 inches of yarn attached to one of the corners and I'm going to begin by whip stitching the edges together and tying the yarn off with a knot and I'll cut the tail. Along with the headband, I've also made a second piece that's about four inches long. That's going to be the bow. I'm placing it on the seam and then with another length of yarn, I'll wrap it tightly and tie it around the center. And then just cut off the tails. How cute is that? This kit also includes an embroidered tag that you can attach to your headband. And these gift tags that you can use when you're sharing your projects with your friends. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to use the Quick Knit Headband Kit. 
Once you've used up all of the yarn that's included, you can find more at lionbrand.com. Happy stitching!